Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be discussing my thoughts on the recent Shea Moisture controversy. If you guys have been following my channel for a while, then you know I am an avid Shea Moisture consumer. That is like my go-to product and it has been since I went natural back in 2009. So with this recent controversy that's been going on, I have been honestly so disappointed with Shea Moisture because I love this brand so much. And you guys know, as natural hair ladies, like it's hard for us to find brands, and just as a black woman in general, um, it's hard to find brands that um, work for our hair. And because we have such a limited selection, y'all know, like when we go to like Walmart and Target and stuff, we have just our little one little ethnic multicultural hair um, corner. Whereas white women and everybody else has aisles full of products. Not having such a large selection to choose from when I find something that I really do like and that works well for me to be dealing with this stuff that has come out recently, I'm just really like, I'm so disappointed with them. Unless you've been living under a rock, when you probably saw the recent ad that Shea Moisture released. In the ad, they had one um, racially ambiguous woman. I think she might have been biracial. I think she had some black in her. Um, but she was fair skinned with um, loose 3A, 3B curls and then they had three other Caucasian women discussing hair hate. They were talking about how they don't like their hair, they don't know what to do with it, they got picked on about it. So I guess Shea Moisture wants to include everybody and to, they want everybody to love their hair. The message was fine. It's, it's an appropriate message. However, they neglected to include the women who face the absolute most hair hate which is us black women and mostly type 4 natural hair women. I felt like that was very, very tone deaf in a sense that we are Shea Moisture's foundation. We built Shea Moisture from the ground up. The, won't nobody think about Shea Moisture before this whole natural hair movement kicked off and uh, we really, really got them off the ground. We are their main consumers. So the fact that they would release an ad and have no black girls in it whatsoever with tight kinky curly hair was just kind of like a slap in the face to us because why would you neglect your day one consumer in an effort to reach out to other people? I was a business major in underground so I understand you know wanting to broaden your market and reach other people. I get it. I may not necessarily like it for Shea Moisture but I mean it is what it is. Everybody wants money at the end of the day. It's a corporation and that's what they're going to do. That's fine. But do not neglect your day ones. Like we've been with y'all from the beginning and you just gonna like leave us out and just leave us hanging like that. Like that honestly like did not sit well with me. Um, and to add fuel to that fire, I've seen a lot of rumors circulating about Shea Moisture changing their formulas. A lot of people have been reporting it over the last year or two that the, the formulas are a little bit watered down and they just don't meet our hair's needs like they used to. I personally have not experienced that. I know with the curl enhancing smoothie, that used to be my like my staple. And after a while, I just like wasn't feeling like that. So I mean, it very well could be that the formula had changed. I wasn't aware of it at the time, but that is a product that I no longer buy anymore. Um, and so, for people to be reporting that they're changing their formulas, then for them to be, and then when they had that whole break the walls campaign, which I understand, but uh, whatever. Um, I saw that they were adding more um, diverse women to their commercials and to their ads and stuff like that, which was fine, whatever. And then, but then for them to release this commercial with no black women, I was like, okay, y'all really tried it now. My issue is honestly, like, I don't have an issue with them with them, um, you know, wanting to reach out to other demographic of women. Like, like I said, I don't necessarily like it because I wanted us to have something specifically for us, by us. Um, like I said, other women have aisles and aisles full of hair care products that they can choose from. We don't have a lot. So the fact that what we do have is now reaching out to appeal to them, it's just like, dang, like, is there anything that can just be for us? And I don't know, I guess that's selfish. I mean, if it is, okay, whatever. But that's just how I feel. Like, we have to share everything. Um, and honestly, we don't have a lot of stuff for ourselves. So it just kind of is like, dang, y'all, can we have something for ourselves? And honestly, Shea Moisture has been getting on my nerves anyway. Um, the In the, the past, the past couple, I guess the past year or so, they have been releasing so many different lines. 
honestly it's overwhelming and it's oversaturating like y'all are doing the absolute most every single time I go into Target or Ulta I see a new line I'm like dang I haven't even tried the last 511 ones that you released I'm still I'm probably I'm still on the Jamaican black castor oil line and that came out like in 2014 y'all so that's just how far behind I am and I have not been able to keep up with how much they're releasing and um, I just felt like they were doing too much y'all like it's not that serious y'all don't have to keep releasing all this stuff and if you're gonna keep releasing all this stuff why not make a line specifically for Caucasian hair straight um, wavy stringy oily why don't you have a line specifically for that line of hair versus changing what you already have that's working for us that tells me that you don't value me as a consumer and that their money is more important than mine so that was my main issue with them changing formulas and then with this whole tone deaf commercial i just felt like y'all are like erasing your foundation and honestly, like y'all, I can I can honestly say like with that com with that last commercial, I, I can be done. I will finish up what I have because I don't I don't waste no products over here. They products cost way too much for me to be throwing them out. But I will not be repurchasing Shea Moisture. Um, and honestly, I'm excited because like I said, I've been using their products since 2009 when I went natural. So I think this will definitely give me a chance to venture out and try other black owned. For us by us businesses um, I saw so many businesses um, at the world natural hair show this past weekend here in Atlanta that I am so so excited to try um, and I will just leave a couple below that I saw that I know are for sure certified um, black owned businesses for you guys to check out so be on the lookout for more um, videos of course from me exploring these different product lines and giving you my thoughts and opinions on them and just to go back to the World Natural Hair Show this weekend, which was amazing. I worked with the Talia Wajid brand. I was a model for her. Um, and I got to meet her personally. And the, the, sh the show was just honestly amazing. If you guys have not um, gone, you should definitely try to make it out um, one year because it's, it's honestly a great, great time. But I did go by Shea Moisture's booth, y'all. And tell me why they had white women up there working. I was like are they serious like there's nothing wrong with that but if I'm coming up here to this world natural hair show and I'm thinking okay this is for natural hair I can go to these these booths and I can talk with their salespeople about their products and they can tell me you know what's best for my hair I just didn't feel like me going to them and asking them things like what they think is best for my hair I just didn't think that they were knowledgeable enough for that um so I just I, I don't know. I don't know if that's like bad or whatever, insensitive or whatever. But I just didn't think that that was the place for them. And now I see that um, Shea Moisture has sold out to Bain Investments. I don't know. I think they have like maybe 49% 49 share in the company. I've also seen that the vice president is a white lady, which is probably why the um, ad got out and they, nobody thought that there was an issue with it. Um, and yes, I saw their apology, but I don't know, like, I appreciate it, but it's really, like, kind of BS to me because y'all didn't see an issue with this ad before it came out. You didn't see an issue until people started complaining. Oh, excuse me. So, yeah, thanks for that, but no thanks. I don't know, y'all. What are y'all thoughts? If, do y'all feel like um, the people who have decided to boycott and no longer use Shea Moisture, do you feel like we're overreacting? Or do you agree and are you hopping on and no longer using their products? Or are you going to keep using their products and you feel like you're not affected by this? I just want to know y'all's thoughts. I, you know, like I said, I was an avid Shea Moisture supporter. Like the recent events have shown me that I don't matter as much as them venturing out and um, servicing other demographics. Um, me, you know, like I said, loyal day one supporter. Y'all have been getting my coins since 2009. I was honestly disappointed with the um, recent, with the, the commercial, with the, the rumors of you guys changing your formulas. Um, and I mean, I don't know. I'm not trying to be like rude, but I also feel some type of way about you guys reaching out and, you know, trying to trying to service other demographics. I feel like they have more than a, enough products. I don't know why y'all think y'all products are going to service them better I mean I don't know like I said I am a business major though so I get it but on a personal level I just felt like 
I wanted something to just be for us. I don't know if that was too much to ask. I guess it is. Um, but I will just stick with um, more the other black-owned businesses that I've seen. I'll be trying them out. Really, really excited to give my hair something new. I'm sorry for the rant, but I just had to get that off my chest because that's something that really, really meant a lot to me. And I just wanted to express my thoughts. But I will see you all on my next video. Bye, guys.